next on the show, it is something that most of us have experienced. You're traveling in a rural Manitoba or across the prairies. You glimpse a familiar sight out the window, an old rusty car peeking out from behind a tree or above tall grass in a farmer's field. To most, they're part of the scenery, but to Steve Van Vladern, they are rustic treasures. So he set out across the prairie provinces to capture photos of cars like these in all of their glory for a new book. It's called Vanishing Wheels, and a portion of the sale will, sales of the book will go to fund Parkinson's research. That is uh, something that Steve lives with, Parkinson's, and uh, he joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. And his partner, who is uh, also on the line for some support, Darlene Hildebrand, is here as well. Hi, Darlene. Hi, good morning, Marcy. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being with us. This is a beautiful book. I just love it. I, I wish I could keep it, but I'm going to give it to a listener. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where, Steve, did the idea to photograph abandoned cars come from? Well, I've always been interested in cars and being a baby boomer. I grew up where in the peak of the hot rod era, cruising up and down main streets uh, was a common sight. Drive-in theaters and drive-in diners were in vogue. Car racing was at a tight. And so I was brought up in that um, baby boom era. And when the automotive industry was on an upward upward uh, scale. When, go ahead. I was just going to ask you, uh, you stopped and took these pictures of all these cars. Do you know how many are in the book? I'm just flipping through. There's so many photos here, Steve. There's 115 in the book. And I took, uh, on the trip, we took uh, 7,800 images. Wow. How long was the trip? And I mentioned you went all around, all across the prairies. Is that right? Yeah. We, um, I'll like. I'll let Darlene comment about that. Sure. Yeah. Darlene, tell us a bit about the trip. Well, the trip uh, was uh, three months long, and we uh, traveled uh, over 15,000 kilometers. Uh, started out in Winnipeg and uh, went as far west as uh, Banff and uh, uh, took our motor home uh, and, and uh, just went up and down... Went, uh, up and down back roads based on leads that we got from people as we met throughout the summer. The, the, the photography is beautiful. I mean, I can't describe the blues and the prairie skies and the freshness of the grasses contrasted, you know, to contrast with the with the rusty shells of these vehicles. Um, I know I have some favorites here. So there's a, a four, 1934 Model A that was found in Brandon, uh, which mm-hmm. is just such a cool photograph. Also, I love when rust sort of takes on that. Uh, you also can get that, you know, green sort of patina that comes with the rusty orange. There's a 1928 Dodge Victory 6 sedan uh, that is also in this book that is just a stunning photo. Uh, there's a Ford Model A that is that's stuck in a marsh near Arburg. Like, it's so cool. Uh, do you have a favorite, Steve? I mean, I guess that's pretty difficult, but can you tell us if you have a favorite in the book? Well, they're all my favorite, but the, the one that uh, really stands out is the front cover. Um it's truly vanishing, you know. One week after after we took the photo, the owner of the car uh, sold it to a scrap dealer for scrap metal. Oh wow! Three, three months later, the barn burnt, uh, blew down in a storm. Oh, you're kidding! Where was this photo taken, and what's the vehicle in it? And I'll, I'll describe a bit of it. But can you tell us what this is? It's a truck, right? It's a 1949 Morris Collie, very rare, it's a pickup truck. And um, it was taken just outside of Weyburn, Saskatchewan. Wow. And it's gone, which uh, Vanishing Wheels, that's the title of your book. Um, yeah. what's, what was it like on the trip, Darlene, as you guys uh, you know, took these photos? Because you're obviously on people's land in many of the cases, right? So oh, what, was the, what were the exchanges like with the, with the owners? Well, we found almost everyone was so accepting. Uh, Steve would not take a photo without permission. So you're right. We had to, first we had to get the uh, the information from somebody else, usually somebody who knew that someone had an old car or uh, would point us to that 
person, then we would have to approach them, uh, wait until they were home, get their uh, permission. But in 99% of the cases, people said, oh, yes, because I think they were so taken by the fact that Steve saw the same beauty in these old cars that they obviously did, because that's why they were keeping them. Yeah, and there's so many stories here. I mean, the 1942 oh. Ford two-ton truck abandoned in a ditch in Whiteshell Provincial Park, and it says on the side, I think it says automotive, it's kind of rusted out, Allegra, Manitoba. Anyway, yep. I could I could look at these for days. I have to ask you guys about the Parkinson's connection. Um, Steve, obviously you live with Parkinson's. April's Parkinson's Awareness Month. What would you like people to understand about what it's like to live with the disease? Well, part, I was diagnosed in 2011 with Parkinson's uh, disease. And um, it's a relentless disease. It's a neurological disease. There's no no cause and there's no cure it's and uh, um, the tremors and uh, motor symptoms that you see is only 10 percent of what um, a patient goes through um, 90 percent is non-motor uh, motor symptoms and, and I call it CCA my complicated collection of ailments hmm. and uh, they're quite debilitating. And uh, lucky for me, I had uh, Darlene with me this summer because um, I needed help uh, a lot of the times. Uh, it was quite challenging. Uh, Darlene can uh, tell you a few stories. I wonder, uh, Darlene, if you could weigh in on why it was important to you to uh, to help Steve in this way to realize, you know, th- this book uh, and to uh, to be there to make sure this happened for him. Well, we've been partners for uh, seventeen years in life and uh, and in business as well. But uh, um, it's important because it is such a, a difficult disease, it only gets worse over time. So uh, um, a, a, as the, 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 the disease progresses, uh, the person living with Parkinson's needs that much more help. And it's a, it's a difficult disease, particularly, well, for anyone, but for men, you know, to lose your strength, to lose your ability to move and do the things that you just took for granted uh, is... Uh, you know, it's 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 heartbreaking. So for me to be able to be there and to uh, to help him with his the cre- his creative side. Um, Steve is the the creative one. I'm not. So he took all the photos. He processed them. He, uh But where he did need help at times uh, because of his Parkinson's was in the actual taking of the, sure. of the photos. Trudging through uh, fields and such, and you were there to exactly. help. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, he he had to use a tripod, which is fine, uh, but often he also needed, because of the length of time it took, he would need to sit on a stool and Take sometimes breaks. getting up Heading, getting up from that stool, he literally needed somebody to help him. Uh, but listen. Uh, through it all, he did it. Uh, you both did, and I thank you both for doing it. We're going to give away a copy of the book. I know Portion raises money towards Parkinson's research, and thank you both for being with us this morning. Darlene, thank you. Thank you, Marcy. Steve, Thanks again. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, Steve, as well. Thank you. Darlene Hildebrand and uh, the author of Vanishing Wheels, uh, Steve Van Vladern, uh, with us this morning.